Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add a new eSIM to your Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. From the home screen, swipe down at the top, then tap on the settings icon. Next, in the settings page, we then scroll down and then tap on connections. After that, go down and tap on SIM manager. Now at the top is your physical SIM. Now we go down and tap on add eSIM in the eSIM section. So tap on that. Now before you can add in the eSIM, you need to have a QR code or the registration code. This information will be provided from your um, network provider. If you don't have this, then you cannot add your eSIM. So go and request this from your network provider. And once you have the QR code, either uh, if it's printed out on a piece of paper for you or on your web or on the network provider website. So here I will tap on scan QR code. Most of them uh, come in the QR code format. Now on my phone, I will choose scan QR code. Then on my phone, I just need to put the camera and then it say add a MySIM eSIM. Okay, so once you have uh, scanned the QR code, tap on add and as it will add my MySIM eSIM to the device. So depending on uh, which network provider you are with, sometimes you will be able to download the app from that network provider and within the app, you'll be able to add in the eSIM as well. So there are multiple methods of adding in your eSIM. This is simply easy by just uh, scanning the QR code. And here you can see it's a eSIM e e is ready on my device. Now I can tap on the edit button. In here I can rename it or I can leave the default name. And then tap on next. And so here prefer SIM for calls. It asks you which um, SIM card do you want to set as your default. I'm going to leave it as my SIM one and then tap on next. And here you have to set a preferred SIM for messages. So when you are setting out messages, uh, you can the phone will use the preferred SIM. But you can also switch uh, which SIM to use uh, before uh, setting out your text messages. So here again, I will leave my SIM one as the default and then tap on next. And then it asks you which SIM do you want to use as a preferred SIM for mobile data. Here you can choose eSIM1 or SIM1 or simply off. So I will select SIM1 and then tap on done. And that's it. So we have now successfully add in a new eSIM and we have successfully customized it for calls and messages on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Now those options, you can always go back into your SIM manager and make the changes. So you can change uh, for calls, you can change it to eSIM1 uh, if you wanted to, or you can switch it back to SIM1, or you can choose always ask. So it will always ask uh, when you're making a call, it asks you which SIM do you want to use. And that's it. After that, tap on the done button to go back to the connections page, and then tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.